Hi, my name's Daniel Platt, and today I'm going to show you how you can install Linux utils using Brew. What we need to do is head over to brew.sh, and it's a package manager for the Mac OS, but its full name is Homebrew. And to install it is a very simple task of taking this terminal command and copying and pasting it directly into terminal. Here's a terminal window I prepared earlier, and if we paste in that command and hit return, it needs our password to actually install the tools because sometimes the folder is owned by root. And it's just going to give us a little idea of what it's going to be installing and where it's going to be installing. So everything's going to live in forward slash USR forward slash local, which you're unlike to see if you're just using the Mac OS because the Mac OS system hides these sort of folders from you. But if you ever explored in terminal, you would have seen these. So let's press return to carry on. And it's just downloading all the source files. The one thing you will need is Xcode or the Xcode command line tools. And you can either download Xcode from the, the App Store or you can install the command line tools uh, using Xcode Select. But in my case, I've already got them installed. So let's see how Homebrew is doing. The speed this install will depend on your internet connection, but also how fast your computer is. At the moment, it's just using Git to download all the packages. Great, that's now installed. And now you have a, a command called brew. And you can do brew install, brew update, but more importantly, you need to be able to find tools. And we've got brew search. So as a test, I like to use Fortune. It's a very simple application. Oh, it's a very simple command line tool. And all it does is it generates you a Fortune cookie. And it just quickly downloads, quickly installs, and it's quick to run. So that's a quick little rundown of how to install Linux type tools using brew on the macOS. I'll see you in the next video.